Welcome back. The annual JP Morgan Healthcare Conference kicks off on Monday. Meg Terrell is uh, here with a look at how important it is uh, to the industry and to investors. Meg. That's right, Well, it's important to more than just investors. It's the biggest healthcare investing event of the year where thousands of executives, investors and others convene to network, make deals and look to raise money. Well, we talked with one attendee who will be there on a very personal mission. Twins Maxwell and Riley Freed came into the world together. Did you have a good sleep? But as they grew, their parents, Amber and Mark, noticed a difference. Maxwell wasn't developing the same way as his sister. After six months of genetic testing, Maxwell was diagnosed with a rare disease. It was known by its genetic location, SLC6A1. And I just remember thinking that that wasn't the name of a disease. It was the name of a flight number. Go! It's a rare neurological condition that can cause severe movement and speech disorders and intellectual disability. Between ages three and four, Maxwell is expected to develop a debilitating form of epilepsy. It was in that moment that there was no future for my most prized possession in the world that I was not going to accept that answer for little Maxwell. And I decided to fight like a mother. Freed started calling researchers, became an expert in the biology of the disease, founded a nonprofit, and in 10 months has raised a million dollars. She's working with a team at the University of Texas Southwestern to advance a gene replacement therapy she hopes could help Maxwell and others. She says it's ready to start clinical trials. What she still needs, more funding and connections in the drug industry. So she's joining the thousands of health industry investors and executives flying to San Francisco for the J.P. Morgan Healthcare Conference. What these companies are doing will help the greater good. They are creating miracles for my family, for my little Maxwell Freed, and for so many generations to come. And guys, as medicines get ever more personalized, many parents like Amber are navigating the world of drug development to try to help their kids. And there's no place ever with a denser concentration of the people who fund drug development than the J.P. Morgan Healthcare Conference. So Amber, guys, is certainly going to be in the right place next week. Uh, and Meg, this particular um, d disability uh, uh, genetic condition uh, that the, the Maxwell has, was it already on those executives' radar or is the work that Amber has done uh, really raised the profile of it and given it uh, a greater hope than it had before to find a solution. Amber has really raised the profile of this disease. It was so rare. She said it didn't even have a real name. It just was named by its genetic location. So she is really putting it on people's radar screens. She did identify some scientists and researchers who were working in the space or a similar space. She said she sent them Uber Eats snacks until they responded to her. And then she found one at a conference and got him to talk to her. And he turned to her and said, Hi, Amber. So she is just tireless in this effort. And so many parents are trying to develop these kinds of drugs. And the drug industry could potentially be interested in this kind of thing. They are already doing gene therapy in spades, and she hopes to get their attention. Yeah, fighting like a mother. Meg, we talk so much about the financial and business impact of the sector, but it's so important to realize that it's something that changes human lives on a daily basis. Thank you for reminding us.